Hello. In this video, I will do a second example of a proof by mathematical induction. This is the proof of the Tower of Hanoi formula. It's one of my favorites. This is the statement we're trying to prove. Proof statement PN, which is the minimum number of moves needed to move n disks from one pin to another in the Tower of Hanoi problem is 2 to the n minus 1. And we want to prove that that is true for all natural numbers n. Let's do a quick review of how the Tower of Hanoi game works. Okay, here we have the Tower of Hanoi problem with three disks, n equals 3. And I think I can solve this in the minimum number of moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I would like to see what would happen if I have four disks. The strategy here for four disks is to move the three disks to the middle disk, I'm sorry, to the middle pin using the strategy I just used. Then take this big heavy disk that's on the bottom, move it here, and then take my stack of three and move it here. So let me move these three disks to here. That should require seven moves. Then I'm going to take this big heavy disk and move it over here. Boom, and drop it on there. And then take my seven moves to put this over to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's see how this manifests itself in the proof. I've already started the general format of our proof. We should always start with the word proof, and it's going to be Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, and Roman numeral three. Roman numeral 1, you establish that P1 is true. What would statement P1 be? Statement P1 says that if there's one disk, then one move is required. And in fact, that is the case. You pick up the disk and you move it over. 2 to the 1 minus 1 is 1. Oftentimes, it is trivial to check this, but you should check it and you should show some work to verify that the formula works. Part two, we are given that statement PK is true and we need to prove that statement PK plus one is true. This is a little direct proof inside the bigger proof. So here's our known information. The minimum number of moves needed to move k disks from one pin to another in the Tower of Hanoi problem is 2 to the k minus 1. Now we assume that we have k plus 1 disks. Now, how are we going to move the k plus 1 disks from the first pin to the third pin? Well, kind of like I did in the example, we're going to move the top K disks to the middle pin. Then we're going to take the big disk on the bottom and move it over to the third column, the third pin, and then move the first K disks from the second pin to the third pin. Let's see how many moves this would require. So we first move the top k disks from the first pin to the second pin, and we know that this requires 2 to the k minus 1 moves. This statement right here is what is called the inductive hypothesis. It is what we know. What am I going to do next? The next thing I'm going to do is move the largest disk from the first pin to the third pin. This is one more move needed. And finally now, what do I need to do next? So we take our K disks that are on the second pin and we move them to the third pin. And we know that that requires two to the K minus one moves by our inductive hypothesis. Let's total up the number of moves. 
2 to the k minus 1 plus 1 plus 2 to the k minus 1. You might pause the video and see if you can anticipate the next step. 2 to the k plus 2 to the k is 2 times 2 to the k. Now what's the next step? 2 times 2 to the k is 2 to the k plus 1. And we have the minus 1 term. This is precisely what we wanted. And we have established statement pk plus 1, the minimum number of moves needed to move k plus 1 disks is 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Now we have the important housekeeping, the important finishing up. Roman numeral 3, by the principle of math induction, the minimum number of moves needed to move n disks from one pin to another in the Tower of Hanoi problem is 2 to the n minus 1 is true for all natural numbers n. I think this is a wonderful example of proof by math induction. My name is Jim Olson. Have a great day.